Hey guys, welcome to the Minute Channel. Uh, this is Kuro, and today we're gonna be talking about uh, 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Uh, I only played about five hours of the game so far, so I'm not really in, but at least I can answer the question should you play this game or should you buy it if you're interested in buying it? Uh, granted, the game just came out about a week ago, so it's gonna take me some time to kind of finish the game and everything, but overall, really, really like it. I've been streaming it uh, pretty constantly, pretty much every night, so if you have seen my streams, you kind of know what it's about. So let me give you a little bit of a uh, what the game is about and I'll tell you about the gameplay because it's also something pretty interesting so the game is about uh, 13 different stories it's 13 characters 13 different stories and all of them have something to do with the way uh, they, they are all high school students and they'll deal with with uh, different situations or scenarios where the end of the world is happening and there's a lot of time traveling involved and i can't really tell you too much about it because honestly explaining it this way is really disservice to how good the story is so far every character has a little bit of a, a different build up there's a lot of uh, good character development the conversations are really interesting and are really fun and it feels really fluid it, it, the story really flows pretty well even though it is crazy and every time that i finish a chapter or an episode i'm like oh my god what is going on what is the next thing going on and everything so really really like how uh, the game looks and it, it's beautiful everything from the cutscenes to all the animation and everything is really well done the mechs look really interesting and they really do a good job as far as like showing um, the different characters because again there's 13 characters and all of them have like their own little story and everything and you go between different stories and everything but the pacing is pretty interesting I wouldn't say it's super good but it's definitely uh, it made in a specific way that I really like how it grabs you because it really it's really really interesting uh, we'll see how that culminates because I haven't finished the game yet but so far what I've seen I really really like it uh, so speaking of uh, liking the game uh, uh, we talked about the, the how good the game looks because it does look beautiful it, the music is also really good there's a lot of um, I'll say scenic music there's no like boys or anything like that but all the music really fits well for what they're doing and everything and I really like that as well uh, final thing is obviously the gameplay I think that's one of the most important things to talk about um, overall the gameplay is um, I'll say something that I did not expect in this kind of game I knew the game was gonna be um more focused on the strategic side of things and everything strategic RPG and everything but the combat is really interesting it's uh, it's obviously the it works exactly how you think it will work and it's really in intuitive uh, there's a lot of mechanics that you learn and the, and the games and the story really takes you forward like every time that you play a chapter you kind of fight a little bit more and, and everything like that so it's like combat story combat story and everything like that and then at some point you, it just breaks off and you can either do all combat all the time or focus on the story more and everything and you can kind of focus more on different stuff and everything uh really really like the uh, the battle system so far it's pretty interesting my one complaint in this aspect is i really wish that you could just see the mechs fight the things instead of just looking at a map because you see a map and then you kind of see the characters do attacks and everything like that but it's not really uh, dynamic in that sense it's just really strategic and uh, i mean the game is only like uh six seven gigabytes big so it's not a really big game like this game was made for a for a switch or something like that it was it was just a really small game and everything speaking of length the game is only about 20 to 25 hours long so you're uh, i'm almost like half the way to the game at this point almost you know i have like a, a much more what to go and everything but i'm definitely seeing a lot of the good stuff in the story so far so if you're into games that are not too long this is probably a good fit for you if you're into atlas games or uh vanilla wear this is definitely something for you i can see this not being a game for everybody and i can definitely admit it so far uh, one the story can be complicated and some people don't really like complicated storylines and everything like that so i get that the second thing time travel is not everybody's favorite subject when it comes to uh that's why i mentioned it because i know some people speak basically don't want to deal with time travel in video games or in stories and TV shows and everything because it does bring a lot of other questions and everything so I get that as well and final thing I understand the combat is not for everybody uh, if you have seen my gameplay so far I'll tell you the combat is interesting and it's engaging but it's not something that a lot of people enjoy doing and everything so far even a stretch as far as doing something like a uh, fire emblem gameplay is a little bit more dynamic this is one is this one is not really dynamic in that sense you're just looking at a map and the map is shooting back and forth and everything it's not really dynamic on the animation side or anything like that so don't expect anything like that Anyway, that is pretty much in this video here. I just wanted to talk a little about Aegis Rim because I'm really enjoying the game so far. I do think it's an excellent game. There's a lot of really good stuff that I would like to go more in detail. Maybe when I do my full review and everything. Um, 
but character development in this game is interesting and the story definitely grabs you this is definitely a story that will get you going within like the first like hour you'll definitely see how good the story is because it definitely takes a lot of different points that i really enjoyed a lot anyway have you played this game so far are you interested let me know in the comments below and if you're new please consider liking and subscribing i'll see you guys next time